Hi everyone, my name is Roxanne Blaze. On behalf of the City of Cape Town, a warm welcome to this public service announcement on the importance of recycling waste. Cape Town is a beautiful city to live and work in and has recently been rated by many as one of the top 10 travel destinations in the world. Keeping Cape Town beautiful and maintaining it in a clean and pristine state free from waste is one of our top service delivery priorities. Although the city has several domestic waste minimization programs running, much of this waste still goes to the city's three landfill sites. The concern is that these landfill sites have a remaining lifespan of approximately 10 years. Once they have reached their capacity, the city will need to develop new landfill sites. These will also be much further away, thus increasing transport costs. There is a positive way forward and you can be part of it. One of the ways you can be involved in reducing waste to landfill is by separating your waste at home and delivering your recyclable materials such as paper and cardboard, plastic, cans and metal, glass, tetrapack cartons, and polystyrene to one of the city's many drop-off sites. Did you know that there are over 20 drop-off sites strategically placed around Cape Town? You will find a drop-off site within a seven kilometer radius of your household. The drop-off sites are all clearly signposted and signboards list the operating times, accepted materials and any health and safety provisions to be noted. A City of Cape Town staff member will be there to greet you and direct you to the appropriate spot depending on the type of waste you wish to drop off. The City has appointed an entrepreneur at each drop-off site to recover items that they consider to be of value both for recycling and reuse. Sorted recyclables would be welcomed but you don't need to separate the items as this can be done for you by the on-site entrepreneur. And don't forget those items you've been storing in your garage for years. These are also welcome and could include scrap metal or unwanted furniture. We also accept e-waste, such as obsolete computer or electronic goods. Wood or timber waste has its own dedicated waste container. This enables easier management of the product for reuse. Builder's rubble is also accepted at our drop-off sites. Items such as bricks, cement, tiles and even sand can be dropped off. Please remove any wood, plastic or paper from your builder's rubble to avoid contamination. At the garden or green waste section, you can offload branches, leaves and grass. This is chipped at many of the drop-off sites to prepare it for composting off-site. Tree stumps are however not currently accepted. You will have to dispose of these at one of the city's landfills as they aren't able to be chipped. This also applies to household hazardous material that needs to be disposed of. Hazardous materials could include motor oil or lubricants, used batteries, pesticides, swimming pool chemicals, paint products, lamp bulbs, asbestos and household chemicals. These can be dropped off at the at loan drop-off site. Be sure to bring along your municipal account and either your ID document or driver's license as the city needs to note the source of all hazardous waste. This is a legal requirement. So how much can you bring to the drop-offs? Up to 1.5 tonnes every day. Isn't that great? In conclusion, by taking your waste to drop-off facilities, you're helping to divert waste back into the economy, extend the life of our landfill sites, and assist in creating a sustainable city together. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon at a city drop-off near you.